Hi, everybody, and welcome to Connecticut Styles. Great to have you with us. I'm Jocelyn Lamenta. Teresa has the day off today. Coming up, a frank discussion about problem behavior in kids and what to do about it. We explore the topic with Dr. Robert Reynolds from the Reynolds Clinic. Plus, on stage eight, we have Jennifer Hill of the band Jennifer Hill and Company as we witness her talents on the keyboard. You're going to love it. But first, I'm in the kitchen with Chef Leticia. Always wonderful to have you with it us. It feels like home to me. Good. <laughs> we're going to make some exotic treats today. Exactly. Well, Brazilians and Americans, we share the love for peanuts and chocolate and mm, that combination. Absolutely. So we're going to do good stuff today. And this is your own recipe? Yes. Yes, which is in my book, The Brazilian Kitchen. Well, we're looking forward to this. Let's tell everybody what they need to do right now. Take a look at this camera. Well, you need to sit back and relax, and you're having lunch with style. If you're considering home improvements this fall, you owe it to yourself to check out Advanced Window Systems. AWS is the only home improvement company used and endorsed by local celebrities with factory direct, high quality windows starting at only $199 installed. Advanced Window Systems is locally owned and operated by the Lavoie family and their experienced team of professionals. Call for our fall special and save up to 50% on your heating bills this winter. Same as cash for one year, paid in full. When you're well cared for, you can keep doing the things you love, which is why WellCare Medicare Advantage plans give you extra Medicare benefits at no extra cost. I am well cared for. In fact, call now to see how you can start being well cared for with a free $10 Walgreens wellness card. Our plans give you great things like no monthly premium, no or low co-pays to see your doctor, no cost generic drugs, and even brand name coverage. Plus, you'll enjoy extra dental, vision, and hearing benefits and even free gym memberships, rides to your doctor, and over-the-counter medicines every month. That's a lot more benefits than regular Medicare with no monthly premium. I am well cared for. Call the number on your screen right now to see how you can get a free $10 Walgreens wellness card just for having an appointment with us. Are you well cared for? You can be. Let's talk. Recently, I spoke with Dr. Robert Reynolds of the Reynolds Clinic. The focus of the conversation, behavioral problems in children and the warning signs. Most parents hope that once their children pass, the terrible twos, behavioral problems will be over. But nearly 10% of school-aged children develop a pattern of disobedient and hostile behavior toward adults called oppositional defiant disorder, or ODD. Here to help parents identify the warning signs are Dr. Robert Reynolds, the clinical director at the Reynolds Clinic in Middletown, along with Suzanne Clemente, a parent of a son with ODD. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having us. Okay, how serious of a problem is ODD, Dr. Reynolds? Well, it's a lot more serious than people realize. Uh, about, as you were saying, about 10% of kids have ODD, but oftentimes parents don't realize that that's what they're dealing with. It's common, for example, for parents to come to my clinic because they think their child has ADHD and it becomes apparent during the clinical interview that he may have ADHD but by far the bigger problem are the behaviors that go along with oppositional defiant disorder. All right, Suzanne, you're dealing with a son who's, who was what, being aggressive at home? What yes, was going on? Um, we weren't getting along, if you want to call it that. We were arguing with each other, at screaming at the top of our lungs at some, t at some point and I knew something was wrong. Did you I have any idea that it was ODD? What were you thinking it was? No, um, I, ha I kind of thought it was ADHD, and I thought maybe I was doing something wrong, that I wasn't being the best parent that I could be, and I just was kind of stuck. I didn't know what else to do. So you found Dr. Yes. Reynolds. Yes. Let's talk about the signs of ODD. What are they? Well, I think what Suzanne just described is one of the most important ones. These are severe temper tantrums. I'm not just talking about a child who gets upset from time to time. These are bona fide, full-blown meltdowns that can go on for 20 minutes, a half an hour, an hour, and it's really at a very high volume. But that's not the only issue. That's not the only symptom. They oftentimes argue 
interact with adults, particularly their parents, about the rules, about what they're being asked to do. They'll fight over the least little things. In addition, they are very, very non-compliant. They also almost inevitably fail to take responsibility for something that they have obviously done wrong. They will blame everybody else except to take responsibility. These are the kind of things that drive parents crazy. Absolutely. And Suzanne, what did you see? What was, what was he arguing about? Oh, everything. <laughs> everything. Um, yep. If he has two pairs of shoes in the mudroom, I tell him to put on a certain pair. It'll be a 20-minute argument about why he can't wear the other pair. And it's just because I saw that pair first, but he can, will continue to argue and argue about and, uh, what pencil he can use for homework. How old was he when this all started? Um, about five and a half is when I started to see all of this come out to be uncontrollable. And when I knew it wasn't terrible twos, obviously, anymore, so he was five and a half. So is that usually the time you start seeing this? Yeah, five, six, uh, not uncommonly when school begins and there are more responsibilities that the child has to fulfill. But again, Suzanne's story is so typical because oftentimes the parent misinterprets this as saying, well, I'm just a bad parent. And, that, and, and as a result, Jocelyn, they don't get the help that they need because they're afraid that they're the reason they're the problem. These are brain-based problems every bit as much as ADHD and other kinds of learning difficulties. But parents misinterpret it and as a result, fortunately Suzanne got help in a timely fashion, but sometimes we won't see parents until the child's 10, 11, 12 and these behavioral patterns are so firmly entrenched that it's ripping up the entire family. Is it too late at that point or is it treatment still okay? It's still okay, but again, the sooner the better. If, if a parent suspects that they have a child with ODD, the sooner they get help, the better. All right, what kind of help is out there? Well, there are several kinds of things that we do, at least at our clinic. First, we want to equip parents with the skills that they need to engineer that household differently. Children with ODD are what I call WIFM kids. What's in it for me? Mm -hmm. So that if you can make it very clear why it's in that child's best interest to comply with your wishes, he'll do it. But too often we tell our, our kids, well, do it because I said so. And with an ODD kid, them's fighting words. And that's when you see these meltdowns, and that's when you see these kinds of behavioral tantrums go on. So we teach parents how to manage those situations, engineer them so that there's much more likelihood of compliance. In addition, as you know from past encounters with us, we do a lot of neurofeedback training. And what that is, is it's a computer-based training that actually uses computers to teach the child to become more flexible. We actually have some video right now. Excellent. So what you're seeing in the video is the neurofeedback training in which we actually train the child's brain so that the child learns to manage his own brain. Because when a child who has ODD melts down, his brain is taken over. He needs to be in control of his brain, and the neurofeedback is what teaches him how to do that. So that, in conjunction with working with the parents, makes for a much more successful outcome. All right. How long has, it been, has he been treated, Suzanne? Um, I believe we started going to see the Reynolds Clinic in March, um, and he started neurofeedback in about the end of May and finished the beginning of August. How's he doing now? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so It's almost like a different kid, the kid that I know that he is. Um, we still have day-to-day -day struggles but they're the usual day-to-day -day struggles that you would expect with a child without ODD. Um, yeah. It's manageable and it's great. As Dr. Reynolds says, he worked with you yes. so that you can work with your son at home. Yes. What are you doing differently? Um, well, I, he gave me a plan um, to put in place at home and we follow that. Um, I've stopped raising my voice. Um, I've stopped getting angry and walking out of the room. I'm able to deal with it because I know what's expected of me. I know what I need to do to make him a, to make him better, to make him feel okay in the home and it's great. But well, he's lucky to have such a loving mom to, to really <laughs> care. One of the ruts that parents get into sometimes, Jocelyn, with a child who has ODD is they end up punishing the child. The problem with children who have ODD is punishment really doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, they punish them more. And when that doesn't work, they punish them more. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of alienation and no success. So parents are raising their voices, they're yelling, the whole situation is out of control. And with a child with ODD, if all you have is punishment in your toolkit, you're going to have a very difficult time. All right, for more information, people can go to an open house that you're holding. Actually, you have two yes, open two. houses free. Mm -hmm. The first one is Wednesday, November 2nd from 6.30 to 8.30. Then Saturday, November 5th from 9 a.m. to noon. You say pre-registration is required. Yes. They can call that number on the screen, 860-343-0227. Or you can also go online and log on to ReynoldsClinic.com.
www.wendellsclinic.com. And of course, if you want more information, contact wendellsclinic.com. It's great to have you both with us. Thank you for sharing your story with us, Suzanne. Oh, you're welcome. Now go away, there's more Connecticut style right after this. That was very nice. How do you feel? Sure, I spend a lot of time online, but I'm not just checking sports scores here. I'm also saving money. I just got a quote for car insurance at Amica.com. It was fast and easy, and the price was great. They gave me quotes for three different coverage options, customized for me, and then recommended the best one. And then I called Amica to ask some questions, and they were even better on the phone. So, uh, check them out. Oh, tie game. You could save hundreds with Amica Auto Insurance. Go online or call today. When you have a family, you want to be smart about spending money. These days, you want to be brilliant. The smartest thing we did was call Amica for car insurance. They really took the time to get to know us and get the coverage right. And their quote was less than what we were paying. And they found all these discounts, too. We saved even more by getting auto, home, and life together. It was a smart call. It was a genius call. <laughs> you could save hundreds with Amica Auto Insurance. Call for a free quote now. For 20 years, you've heard me rant about furniture stores' so-called free financing that really isn't free because they hide the finance charge in their higher prices. It's just another phony gimmick. Well, call me Bob the Gimmick Buster. For the first time ever, I am offering you no interest, no gimmick financing on $1,200 or more if paid in full in 12 months. Not one red cent of interest and no down payment. I have not and will not raise my prices to do it. You don't have to fall back on that Halloween candy to satisfy that sweet tooth. Joining me today is Chef Leticia Moreno Schwartz with her take on holiday candies with a Brazilian twist. What a treat to have you back with us. Thank you so much for having me. So what are we making today? So today I want to share with you a recipe from my cookbook, The Brazilian Kitchen, which by the way, it won the award last year for best Latin cookbook in France. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. That's really exciting. And it's a recipe for for peanut truffles. You see, Brazilians and Americans, we share the love for the combination of peanut and, and chocolate. I, I'm w there with you. I'm guilty. I mean, I raid my kids' Halloween candies looking for those Reese's peanut Right. Pieces. Do you eat a lot of Reese's? I do. I love I mean, it. Because we all eat, chocolate right? and peanut butter, it just has a tasty combination. Exactly. So this is a, 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 an upscale Reese's. Let's put it <laughs> this way. So let me show you how to make it. It's really easy. Okay. Here we have some peanut butter. So we're going to add some... Um, how much peanut butter do you have in there? About half a pound. Half a pound? Yes, so about one cup. And then about you put it in cup. there and you've already processed yeah, a little bit of it. just a little bit, okay. exactly. Then we're going to add some salt. Can you use smooth or chunky or do you prefer smooth? Uh, either either your choice. Exactly. Oh, very good. Your choice. Um, How, what, what did we just put in there? Salt, salt. kosher salt. How it's much very salt? very important, about one tablespoon. One tablespoon Sorry, of salt. sorry, one teaspoon. Oh. One teaspoon. One Correction, teaspoon. we don't want you putting a tablespoon. It's right. A teaspoon of s kosher salt. Kosher salt. Very good. About an eighth of a cup of sugar. And we process that for just a few. Oops. For just a few minutes. If you don't have one of these, can you use a blender? You can. But this you is can. much better this if you have better. a food processor. But this is very, like, widely available now, right? Everyone right. Everyone has a food processor. Okay. Well, not everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Time to have, have one. a food processor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we're going to add um, some milk chocolate. You want to add for me? Sure. And how, what do we do with this milk Just chocolate? pour the whole thing in. And you melted this? Yes. Already. No, you didn't add anything to it, right? No. You just melted the milk chocolate. Exactly. And how much did you melt? A whole bar of it? About... Um, I'd say twelve close ounces. To, close to um, half a pound as well. Yeah. Okay. How's that? Perfect. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna try we and get everything in there. Okay. Okay. Got it. Then we buzz a little more. All right. And then, of course, when we need it. <laughs> See, this is why I don't have a food processor. Uh huh. <laughs> Too many gadgets. Got All it. right. Okay. So you just cream it. Right, we just cream it and then we add the butter. Okay, and you're just putting it up there? Yeah, I can put it this way. Okay. How much butter? But it looks like Three I have a Three tablespoons? Three tablespoons. Okay. Then we end up, you pour that into a plastic container. Okay, so you put everything in here into this plastic container. Yeah. And yeah. then you put it in the refrigerator? You put it in the refrigerator and then you make little balls like that. 
just like that. Very and easy. And what are you using here? What is this? This well, is like a, a, an ice cream scoop, except that it's mini. Okay, so you scrape it like this. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I get this right. Oh, mine's a yeah, little too big. Yeah, and then you, you, you may use your hands to roll them. Oh, yes, because these aren't exactly like those. Right, Yours right. are so perfect. Right. Mine are not. Okay, we'll try and that then, again. And then, here comes the fun part. You okay. just dip them into ch chocolate like that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And then, you just... That can get kind of messy, though, Leticia. Right. So what do you have to do? Well, well, cooking is messy. You can't be afraid <laughs> of getting dirty, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a mess. And this Whoops. is pasoca. <laughs> this is the Brazilian candy, which is that um, candy over there, which is basically ground peanuts with manioc starch. Where can you get that? In Brazilian stores. So if you don't want to get it or mm -hmm. if you can't find it, you can totally use ground nuts. Oh, good. Any yeah. kind of nuts? Any kind. Peanuts. Since we're talking peanut, you know, peanut um, truffle, then you just dip it like that. Now, I want you to try one. So you, wait, you need, a, you need this special, what is this you called? You can use a fork. Okay. <laughs> you can use a fork. This is a special fork for chocolate okay. that, have, that has just two dents. But you can but definitely use just yeah, a regular fork? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you want to try one? I, I will, and I just because I wanted to make you some more of these. All right, all right. They're not perfect like yours, but they're close and enough. Just roll them in your hands. Okay. So, so this chocolate is a dark chocolate? Dark chocolate, exactly. Okay. And the thing about this candy that I really love is that it, it, it's so delicious that it really makes a difference in your day. You know, one bite is all it takes and your whole body smiles. Oh, yes. Chocolate you know? makes me smile. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh-oh. Okay. You can uh, just use your finger or this. Okay. Like that. All right. And then, and then right. we add the... The ground the peanuts, peanuts or the pasoka. That makes it look very pretty. Now, right. you, this is just melted dark chocolate, just right? Just melted chocolate okay. that I tempered. That you tempered? What does that mean? So to temper, imagine when you melt butter, if you let it sit, will it come back the right way, the way it was before? So the same thing happens with chocolate. Okay. That's why you need to temper the chocolate. And the way to do that is you melt two-thirds of the chocolate, and then you add the third, the one-third into chopped, and then just, you know, mix Gradually it in. mix it in. Exactly. Oh, and then your chocolate is... Wow, who knew? That's how to temper easy, chocolate. Okay. Easy. Very good. Next. And, and then um, this, as I showed you, this is very easy to prepare. But... Um, this is what we just made. This is what we just made. Try a piece. And then and you, you also covered this one with chocolate. Brigadeiros. These are the brigadeiros. brigadeiros, my classic candy from Brazil, which I also have in my book. So it's very similar to what we just did. It's... Uh, in a way, it's similar because it's chocolatey and it's candy, and we're in the in the in a season for for baking and candy making, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. This is really a fudge. And just really quickly, you can just box it up and, and exactly. Just and I make sell it look all nice. that through my website. You can get in touch with me by chefleticia.com. Very good. And also, just put it in a box and give it as a gift. That's a wonderful gift it's, during the holidays. It, exactly. Homemade is always special. Chef Leticia, thank you so much for being thank here. We're going to eat more at the end of the show. If okay. We will. Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up, singer Jennifer Hill takes center stage with her sweet sound of funk and rock. Stay with us. You're sending us your story ideas through Reportage, and we're getting you real results. A West Haven man says News 8 had his back and got a crew here to start cleaning up this mess. Thanks for being a part of the team, and keep those story ideas coming. In talking about uh, uh, preventing concussions, there are several things I think that are important for, uh, for parents and coaches to make sure that they monitor with their students and their players. Crucial information to help protect your child from head injuries, tonight at 11.20 on News 8. Everyone's talking about the richest 1%. Now tonight, meet four people who made a billion the old-fashioned way. They earned it. So what can you learn from them? Barbara Walters. To giving back. Thank you. With a special 2020 Tonight at 10 on ABC. Hey, this is Johnny Mac from Barbarino Nissan. I have a question for you. Do you have a job? Do you have $199? Then I can sell you a new car. That's right. If you have a job in $199, I can sell you a new Nissan today. No reasonable offers will be refused and no types of credit will be refused. Our goal is 100% credit approval. So, if you have a job in $199, you call me right now. 8675-309. That's 8675-309. 
Don't miss the high school football power players of the game Friday nights on News 8 at 10 and 11 p.m. And see them anytime on the WTNH.com High School Sports page. Brought to you by Power Home Remodeling Group. Imagine the possibilities. You can call it a musical martini, a combination of pop and rock with a little jazz and soul mixed in. Jennifer Hill of the group Jennifer Hill and Company is with us today. Welcome, Jennifer. Your company's not with you. No, I'm all alone today. <laughs> How many members in your group all together? There's four of us. Um, we have a bass player, a guitar player, the drummer, and myself at the keyboards. Now, do you write your own stuff? Yes, I do. All of it's from me and all of it's from experiences that I've had. And you are actually working on a new album. Yes, or we are. Or CD, I should say. Yes, I like the word album. Do now. you? Yes, I still <laughs> like to use that. <laughs> um, yes, we're working on something new. It's a little more subdued than the last one. Um, it's actually going to be called Therapy because it's about getting out a lot of things, you know, that you've gone through in life. I assume some of that is from your own life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of give us a little more? Um, you know, just going through things with family and with love and with life and, you know, being in, in different spots at different times of your life. I have a 10-month-old right now and a 10-year-old, so going, you know, dealing with the two of Lots them. Lots going and, on. Yeah. <laughs> and when are you going to perform next? I will be at the Elm Bar in New Haven on um, November 12th with Manchurians. And what are you going to sing for us today? Um, this is a song called Erased, and it's brand new. I haven't played it anywhere yet. So oh, we're looking forward to this. Thank Take you. it away, Jennifer Hill. Thank you. When I stare into the sun, I see you, I see you. And all this madness has become Cause of you, cause of you You took away something that I was scared to embrace And all you ever wanted was just to erase me days and nights are done I see you I see you and all the sadness that we've done and it never was through you shattered all the things I thought about love you made me feel so crazy I couldn't get up just to erase me but don't try to fix what you broke you'll never be me you don't know Could you be so cruel to expect me to be okay? All I needed was for you to make me feel sane. You could have had an effort to lessen my pain. But all you ever wanted was just to erase. Thank you. If you're between the ages of 40 and 85, call 1 800 248 9700 now to find out more about Funeral Advantage. The average funeral costs over $9,000, but 
the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to learn how Funeral Advantage helps protect your loved ones. It pays up to $20,000 cash immediately for funeral and any other expenses. You must be age 40 to 85 to qualify. It's easy. No physical examination is necessary. And coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. To get free information about Funeral Advantage, call 1-800-248-9700 now. With Funeral Advantage, your rates will never increase, your benefits will never decrease, and your plan cannot be canceled. You'll also get a free planning guide to help carry out your wishes, so everything is done just as you'd want them to be. Funeral Advantage pays up to $20,000 cash to your family when they need it most. To get free information about Funeral Advantage and its benefits, Call 1-800-248-9700 now. There's no obligation. Call now. Oh, we're back in the kitchen with Jennifer and Chef Leticia. We're actually going to make more chocolate with you, Let's Leticia. do that. And I want Jennifer to try some. I Absolutely. Can't. Do you like chocolate, Jennifer? I love chocolate. <laughs> is it good for the voice? I'd say it is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, Leticia, while we're doing this, you actually offer cooking lessons. That's right. I teach private cooking classes and group as well. And lately, um, I have children and, um, you know, kids come to my house for play dates. And oh, this then, would be a fun thing to do. It, Exactly. And, and then they say to their mothers, you know, I want to have, you know, I want you to cook just like Leticia. So uh, mothers are just calling me for private cooking classes while the kids are off to school. Oh, well, this is great. Yeah. Now, well, Jennifer, you're a mom. Here, try some. Yes, I am. Do you do, do, you do a lot of cooking in the kitchen? Um, I try to whenever I can. Do you see you, yourself doing this with your kids? Yes, I do. <laughs> I see myself eating most of it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try scraping it? Here. This is what you have to make these perfect balls oh, Leticia okay. makes, but I, I couldn't make them. See, mine are not quite so No, perfect. you just have to roll them a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you, you maintain a little towel here, and then you clean your hands Oh, nice often. job, Jennifer. Jennifer, tell everybody about the big event you're working on in March. I am working on SWAN Day CT, which stands for Support Women Artists Now, and it happens every year the last Saturday in March. So this year would be March 31st, and um, we're hoping to hold it again um, at the East Hartford Community Cultural Center. Very good, and our own Kristen Casado is emceeing that for you. Yes, she is. She's a big supporter, I know. We want to thank all of our guests, including Dr. Robert Reynolds of the Reynolds Clinic, of course, Chef Leticia and Jennifer Hill, but most of all, thank you all for watching. Make it a great day. We're going to make more chocolate. Yay! <laughs> and oh, eat. And eat, of course. <laughs> <laughs>